Okay, so there it is complete. Uh, that is the covered uh, moped bicycle. See, the first thing that I had to do was to mount this motor. Um, uh, that's a motor mount right there. Um, this is the other part of the motor mount. You see, this, this part should be real easy to get on there. Um, right now, I'm going to uh, replace these nuts that are on here with lock nuts that I just bought at the store. Um, reason being, they expect you to tighten these up um, I don't know, every, what is it, uh, 10 miles or something like that, which um, I figure if I just put lock nuts on there, it'll hold a lot better. So that's what my intention is. Um, oh, snap. I lost one of the motor mounts. Okay, this is the other side. This is um, my jury rig, what I did is um I don't know this that Allen wrench screw right there um uh, the that was already on the bike it's it's part of this little system which is to uh to mount a water bottle so rather than mounting a water bottle there what I did was um I drilled a hole through this little plate that um uh, this little plate is <clears throat> Uh, it, it comes with the motor, and there's supposed to be two of them, and they're supposed to, um, they're supposed to like clamp on both sides of this bar, and um, because the bar was too thick, uh, which you can see evidence right there, I put a little scratch with the uh, with the screws for the motor mount uh, on the on this bar when I uh, first tried to line it up. Um, so it was too wide, so it wouldn't make it around there. So I had to mount it on the top of this. So that's what you see there. Uh, once I had the motor mounted, I went ahead and I, I put this uh, disc on the back, which is, um, this disc on the back wheel is, um, is mounted with a series of uh, nine bolts. Um, I replaced the bolts that came with the kit because um, they were not lock bolts or they, they did not have lock nuts with them. And I had bolts that had lock nuts. So I used the bolts that I had that have lock nuts uh, because this, um, uh, it, it's really important that it be mounted tight and, um, the bolts were so slippery that it came with that, uh, four of them, they popped off, um, and they started to come out and they ended up getting bent up by the frame of my bike. So, I figured to avoid that situation, I would replace those with lock bolts or lock nuts. Let's see, then I, uh, came up to the handlebars and show you what you would need to do the handlebars. See, you need this Allen wrench, that one right there, and you also need, I think it's this one, this little itty bitty Allen wrench right here. So um, with those Allen wrenches, you get this, uh, uh, you see that little Allen wrench hole right there on the gear? Uh, it's a gearing system that was with the bike. Uh, you loosen that up. You gotta, um, you gotta take it off because you gotta put the clutch on this side. So what I did was I got my front brake, which is not really totally necessary, but I like to maintain it. You know, you never know when your back brake's gonna go out and you're gonna need your front brake. So I left the front brake on there. Um, then you have the clutch. The clutch can um, can come in, push this down, and that'll hold it and uh, that holds the clutch in place. And when you pull it in, it pops that out. Okay, so um, you got your front brake, clutch, your bike gears, and uh, then see this piece. Uh, this just uh, kind of like just pushed on there. It really didn't require any screws. Um, for the for the brakes, that's what you need the other Allen wrench for the the bigger Allen wrench that um, that will loosen this up so you can slide this on here. Um, Oh, you can see I got this light up here. I actually got a little light kit from uh, from the bike shop, and the light kit came with a computer, a bike computer that um, it's a speedometer. So this little bike computer just uh, slips right on there like that. Uh, these are all held on with just a little rubber strand. Okay, um, show you what this bike computer uh, does. This uh, this cable right here. I get it wound around my brake cable, and it comes down here and uh, then it's on, uh, it's mounted on the fork, and uh, somewhere around here, there it is, um, on one of my spokes, is uh, lined up 
where uh, where it will pass this little um, this little sensor for the bike computer, it is able to uh, provide me what the speed is of the bike. So uh, that's a good in uh, investment. See, this is uh, the the brake light uh, or the the tail light rather. And um, uh, the tail light's nice to have on there. Show you where that is, right in the back seat. Okay, so back up to the handlebars here. Um, see, now we're over to the right side handlebars, and uh, what I have is um, my shifter. Okay, then the brake. It's my rear brake. It's really, really important that this be highly functional because uh, your front brake is under where the clutch is, so it's real tough to get to. So it's like emergency use only. So. Um, the rear brake is really important, so that's how you hook that up. Um, once again, it's one of these little uh, Allen wrenches here. And um, then, let's see, uh, this throttle is, uh, this, this little plastic insert is inside this with like a little wider section to hold it in there so it doesn't slip out of here. And um, the cable comes up through here and hooks on to the, uh, the throttle lever so that you can uh, pull the cable with the, the motion of the throttle handle there. Um, uh, so, after I had all that connected, I came down to um, came down to the carburetor, the carburetor on here. Um, see, the carburetor is real easy. Uh, you just slide it onto this little pipe, and then um, you tighten this down. Uh, it's a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, uh, you might have to hold the other side with like a wrench. Think. Oh, then uh, the fuel line. Um, well, it's really important that uh, that you put this in here because otherwise it'll leak, and you probably want to get some type of sealant, really, because it seems to still be leaking even with this on here. Um, okay, so then uh, you force a uh, plastic hose, this little tube, onto um, onto the pet cock, and then um, uh, it's uh, hooked up here. And it's connected onto the carburetor right there. And uh, someplace else where you might want to put some sealant on there or something. I don't know exactly what to, what to do about it, but it also seems to be leaking. Uh, I seem to be leaking gas from here on a constant. Uh, this right here, uh, my recommendation when you go to attach uh, the clutch cable here, um, what I do is I, I put a pinch on the cable with a uh, vice grip so as to like have a uh, connection that you can pull on real tight to uh, be able to like really hold the cable really well uh, through here. And then um, uh, what I had to do was I pushed in on the, on the clutch arm here and um, I don't know, with, the, with the same hand that I was pushing in, I was holding uh, the vice grip so as to pull the, pull the line tight. So you gotta pull the line tight, you gotta push in on the clutch handle and then with the other hand, you got to uh, twist down this screw to hold that cable in place. Um.